win streak to 11 in a row against the Hawkeyes this afternoon at Nebraska 30th overall picked up win number 700 Iowa Hawkeyes have never beaten Nebraska in the history program changers there's Andy Jackson who is in street clothes here this afternoon out for precautionary reasons they expect to have her back on Friday when Purdue comes A great job in that transition making herself eligible Olivia Malk now to serve for the Huskers on the middle, good swing and the kill in the middle by Gracie Gibson. Gibson out of San Antonio. Pushed outside, Harper Murray with her first swing. And the kill for Harper. And that swinging hard and aggressive. Leads Nebraska averaging more than three kills per set. Tip there, Rodriguez covers. Behind here's Beeson's first swing in Nebraska. On fire here early. They're batting a thousand three swing. Overpass. And another kill for Mary Beeson. Great start here for Husker. Well, getting the start with Andy Jackson being out for precautionary reasons. Layla has been playing well, hitting 450 on the year when she's had her opportunities. She's shown the high level player that she is, the transfer out of San Diego. And there is that freshman from Hawaii, Malu. She'll swing from the back row. She's a really dynamic player, really fit in right away. 150 kills on the year is just a freshman. That leads Iowa. For Garcia, she'll push that across. Well, a lot of options. She'll go on the slide. And Layla Blackwell with an. by Harper Murray. A little bit too tight to the net to handle, and Blackwell puts it down. Got to be up in that base. It has plagued Nebraska in previous years, is playing to the level of competition. Obviously, Iowa much improved this year. Two and one currently in the Big Ten Conference, but probably not at the level of Nebraska. Mm -hmm. And early on, we're seeing Nebraska. Does it come out? And again, if a team is playing at a slower tempo, that is sometimes an adjustment. Um, you're used to playing and practicing every day at that fast pace. That's just being very intentional, knowing your scattering report, knowing we got to pause and hold a little bit longer on the blocks, etc. Another swing and another kill for Diego. Was part of that Final Four team. Why would you come and play behind Rebecca Alec, Andy Jackson? She said she loved that experience being in the Final Four. She loved the competitive. She loved being at the highest level and wanted to experience that again. One of the reasons she chose to come to Nebraska, knowing she probably had an opportunity. Culture of Nebraska volleyball. So, a couple things I think were a big draw, but I love her intention to, to play at a high level, try and get back there and be a part of a, a team and, and play a role. When she was out, but now you have some of the quality of Lady Blackwell able to step in while, you know, um, yeah. Jackson is here. Yeah, yeah. It is on the sideline yeah. at this point. And so, she's getting that opportunity to be on the court to be ready and, and uh, make a difference. Nebraska's middles right now combined five swings, five kills. Pretty good for those two kills for Nebraska. <laughs> Absolutely, and middles, getting, getting involved in the offense is just such a huge advantage in the big. Jenna Meitzler is setting for Iowa. She serves now. True fresh, freshman. And another block on that right side. Good block by Malu Garcia. Garcia is also a great, uh, you know, she's up there and being strong and, and pushing solid. Good pass. Very quick. Nebraska's middle's now six for six. The attack point. And another swing and a kill from that right side. And um, has just done a tremendous job. Um, in the lineup and doing great things for this team. Like I said, leading offensively. Good up by Lombardi in the back. And then a kill for Urquhart again. The Hawk you know, she doesn't change that expression very often, so she knows um, that's a big deal and um, excited and leading this team. Hawkeyes right now hitting 462 as Merritt Beeson. Tough serve by Rodriguez and the ace for Rodriguez. This rotation last time, Nebraska, a lot of congestion back there. Um, the attackers are all pinched up tight in that middle right front. And then that ball's going to be coming from that area to the setter. See Coach Hook zone one, that's right where she goes. 
for Murray. And into the net is called on Iowa. Right back to zone one. Gallus flies in to keep it up. Rodriguez one-handed up. A sideable ball. Oh, my. Great up also there by Gallus. On the block. Tipped back by Blackwell, who's right there. On the swing, it's wide. Take. Now we're going to zone two. Serve short again. Again, creating that yo-yo kind of deep and, and short. Just pulling them and yanking them up and back. Right up there by Gallus on that short serve. She's good. That one. Enter from Arizona and immediately made an impact here. And that libero jersey quickly claimed. Great push <laughs> to zone six there from Arizona. Those are good numbers. Those are pretty great numbers. <laughs> Big sweep in. This Malu Garcia, just a freshman, impressive from that right pin. Off. Is she swinging for the high hands? runs the middle. Winning stall gets the kill. It's there as well. She's hitting right at 270 this season, so doing a great job there. Nice. She's not Bruggen Riley. Talk about her getting involved in the offense, but it, there. I mean. We talked about off the top how much her defense has improved and how what a defensive setter she is. And you see another ace for Nebraska. I think, you know, every bit is... People wanting to be a part of the program, and Coach Barnes is really, as you mentioned earlier, a builder of programs. And so the opportunity to be a part of that build. Winning stall on the slide there, not down. Outside pushed over by Landfair on the back row. Good up by Choboy on a tough swing from Garcia. And then set right back as. Well, we down the line, got the touch, and a little black. Just passed that ball as a middle. Great decision and great confidence. Install again. Big by Kennedy Orr. Lanfair still looking for her first kill. On the slide, Rebecca Alec was there at top. Deary's left arm. Back row. Get up by Choboy. I see another heavy swing. Great job to save that. That was a tough ball. Mm -hmm. and the block is wide off of the hands of Bergen Riley. Alyssa Worden now into the game to serve. And Worden serve just misses that back line. Yes, that was out, but they're forcing you to make that call on it and, and really keeping the pressure on with the serve. Nebraska going right at her card here, trying to keep that pressure on, as we talked about, leading into a situation where... Back row, tip. Rodriguez flies in to keep it up. Beeson is dug by Urquhart. Pushed back over, kept alive. And the Huskers now two away. She would, Urquhart would love to have that. She's really, Coach Barnes says she is the glue for this team. And um, you can see again, she actually exhibits what you, what, you know, you got freshmen out on the court. You know what? Land fair. Good dick there by her court. The tip try. Oh, from the ground. Yeah. Got it yep. <laughs> uh, the shot. Cross court swing. Along the tape. Set point for Nebraska. <laughs> Nebraska's Rebecca Alec is called in the net. Point for the They've hit conference play has really stepped it up. Third set point. <laughs> and Rebecca Alec with the double. It means good first touch, Abs yep. good setting, running a quick offense. There is the first lead of the match for the Hawkeyes. Just a freshman into serve. He 
Johnson got the touch and gets the kill. High hand shot using that. And another great swing and beats the block again, Malu Garcia. And really has, opens up, sees the court really well. Right in the middle, and another kill for Rebecca Alec. Pushed outside, Urquhart into the block, set back over. Bump set goes right back after Urquhart, who tried to swipe it off the block, but sit down. And then Nebraska with the quick transition. Blackwell got a hand. into the net called on the Hawkeyes. That was going to be a tough transition mm -hmm. after a really tight pass anyway. Rodriguez continues to... A little different rotation matchup than in first set. And another ace. That's two aces for Rodriguez, and she now has 10... And again, one-handed setter, Clark saves it. Bump set out to Harper Murray, and Harper Murray makes it a five. Or giving them a uh, no, uh, you know, a, a situation where Nebraska knows where the ball has to go. There she finds a way. Good um, side out. Team now, back to serve is Garcia. Oh, who has a high top spin mm -hmm. jump serve. That time does not clear the net. The serve certainly looks impressive. The numbers, not so much yet. Five aces. And now 24 errors for Garcia mm -hmm. on the season. Just a lot of inconsistencies yet with that. Yep. And that one into the net by Malu Garcia. 330 consecutive regular season sellouts. Ongoing NCAA record for women's sports. Thank you, Nebraska. <laughs> Clark tried to punch it deep zone one, but it's wide. Good pass on the slide, right back to Whittingham, and that is Whittingstall, excuse me, and that is pushed wide by Whittingstall. Right on the line to know to let that go. Great court awareness and positioning. Back row. He tries to put it down on two, a little tight to the net. And another part with the angle, and the swing is wide. And the Huskers on a 10. Now negative 83 after that last swing. Just struggling, but the serve of Nebraska is really causing that. They're really mixing it up, limiting what options that Iowa has to with hitters. That ends three consecutive attack errors. Nebraska with. Two defensive specialists and the libero in the back row. Good short serve there by Urquhart. It'll be a free ball opportunity here for the Hawkeyes. Go around the quick middle, and Winningstall gets the kill. Love that um, transition playoff. Transfer is Winningstall from SMU. If Nebraska's heard of SMU <laughs> volleyball. It stands out a little bit more maybe than it has in the past. <laughs> Nebraska's Lingo lost this season. Blackwell right into the lap of Garcia, who kept it alive. Or right back to Blackwell again, went wide, and off of Gallus's platform, and a kill for Blackwell. Push outside. Nice push. And fair off the top of the block. Good hustle by Riley. Rolled over by Landfair. Swipe down the net, not down. Blackwell goes back to Landfair again. Back row. Got the kill. Garcia. Maluga. Go, go. Hey, there's a kill from Taylor Landfair. Her first kill came into this match though just on a tear I mean her season hitting percentage 336 and she's only started 
three matches. This would be the fourth match of the year. And again, the, the volume of swings that she has has not been, you know, as some uh, the other right. outsides either. So efficiency is key there. But she's taking the opportunity coming off of a good match um, this week. So the hot hand of Alec continues. Seven her more bread and butter, but she definitely is coming through on the backside as well. Sometimes that's where you, the open areas and you gotta go. Oh, wow. Great pancake by Orr, and then swiped off the block and a kill. Kennedy has made two great defensive plays. Over the top of the block, but long by Landfair. Derv. Meitzler with the serve long. And with Meitzler in the back row, that brings Garcia back up to the front. Get some offense generated. They are still struggling. They're hitting 0-43 this set. So just really need to get something happening. And right there, Deary, nice swing on the outside. Tool off the block. Yeah. Service errors for Iowa. That is now their fourth. But they've had a couple here in these last few points. So it stands out a little more. Mm -hmm. Maybe just... Um, Back row, great control of the ball and serve receive. Look out, says Rebecca Alec. Alec continues to. Fifth kill there for Garcia. She's hitting right at a, a little over 100 right now. The tip is down by Harper Murphy. She's really done a great job of the tempo shot in the middle of the court because um, she looks like she's going to swing hard and then she changes that up. But here it's really to the placement, um, seeing where the defense is. You can tip it over, but um, sometimes there's a person right there knowing where that open area is. Wow. Good yeah. cross-court shot there. Beeson with she a kill. Off the tape, Rodriguez <laughs> with her third. Knew it right away as it was spinning. In the middle, and Bergen tried to keep it alive. It goes off her hand. The kill for the Hawkeye. Hitting at the setter, making her play that ball. Blackwell in the middle with a commanding kill. Too sharp, too. Bump right back to Urquhart again, this time a bit off the net. Good up by Mauk. Oh, what a smart play by Riley. I'm not sure if that went off the block or not. Defenders are all moving across the court away from that, and she pushes it to the corner. Set point here in the second for the Huskers. Huskers in the net, point for Iowa. Huskers. the kill and the set for Nebraska. Well, the last seven matches between Iowa. It hasn't had a ton of aces. She really causes problems for serve receive. May not always be an ace, but it, it is pressure. Service error to lead it up. up front for Bergen Riley in this rotation. You got Rebecca mm -hmm. Alec, Merritt Beeson, Harper Murray. Pretty good rotation here for the Huskers. Got the full deck up there. And a kill off of the hands by Gracie Gibson. Joined this Hawkeye squad. There's the freshman, Jamie Marquardt. Not to be confused with Urquhart. <laughs> and, uh, Urquhart and Marquardt, and the Huskers have a Rebecca Alec. <laughs> Who had great vision there. <laughs> Individual <laughs> sighting. <laughs> First time on the air. <laughs> A great hustle by Iowa to go into the first row to keep that one alive. Free ball here for Nebraska. Beeson. Harper did a great job getting that platform, pushing that back into the court. Goes right back to Beeson after the hitting error, and Beeson cleans it up. And again, they know that she, um, as a, an attacker, she believes in me. Zone five is what Coach Cook called. That would be her court. They go right to her. And then slide the other way. Goes off the block. Harper Murray with a block touch on the swing by Garcia. 
Then the slide by Blackwell. The tip spin by Urquhart. He kept it alive. Free ball. And Layla Blackwell with another kill. Elbow and finishing it. Layla's mom, Nicole, played volleyball at Georgetown. Competed in the old AVP. Mm. And another point for Anna. Mm -hmm. She was at Indiana for a year, transferred to San Diego, made that run to the Final Four with San Diego, and now finds herself in her final year of collegiate volleyball in Lincoln. Good block touch there. And the big block by Blackwell. Led Indiana in her freshman year with .94 blocks per set. She was a leader in that category for the Hoosiers. WCC first team all-conference three consecutive years was Blackwell. Into this match, and we've seen her have a great performance here today to add to, add to those numbers, as well as her offensive performance. I don't think I've seen that. I mean, I've seen it. <laughs> so suspended, wedged in there. Good quick run, that's good tempo on that yep. ball out to Urquhart on that left pin, and she put it away. Urquhart. The ball really pr puts pressure on the blockers to close and gives an advantage to the attacker. Back row, Beeson. Oh, the angle, and yep. just caught that. And great execution. On the slide, between the blocks, she just beat the block there. Winningstall with another kill. Very effective for the Hawkeyes. The hitting percentage of Winningstall, outstanding, 455 for the middle. There is Krause. Lindsey Krause, one swing, one kill. And gets her first swing in play. Out of system. Back row swing is not down by Milo Garcia. You the go big from island. Hawaii to Iowa. I, I'd love to hear just, her recruiting I, experience I think and what, what drew her. Yeah, I think what I've been told is the, the scenery and and just the you know the general beauty of the area. Red and Beeson also. Yep, straight across the board. Talk about diversified offense and effective offense. Riley's running that right now. Uh oh, <laughs> that's trouble. She had so much space there. Leaving Beeson open on that backside or at least having a nice big hole. Action and reaction, they all kind of lend to advantages. And the ace. Another ace for Nebraska. That is numbers. Pushed with uh, Nebraska's focusing on her, keeping her under pressure with their serve. Good timing there, the kill by the middle, Gracie Gibson. Starting role and just still a freshman learning how to find the ball or get the ball to her hitters when they need it and where. First hitting error for a Nebraska middle. And Good pass by Chobo. Mm -hmm. And Krause beat that block. And again, Bergen Riley is running a phenomenal offense here. She's reading the block. The block has no choice but stay with. Good turn there by Gibson. Gracie Gibson takes that ball and turns it back to the right. For Iowa. Freshman out of Libertyville, Illinois. Libertyville High School. Look wide again. Yep, just a little bit, trying for that far sideline point. Good hustle by Mauk. And right on the, on the spot. Big block. Gibson shuts down Harper Murray. Right inside that 10-foot line. Five kills for Harper Murray. That time it was a kill for Gibson. Again, she takes that turn. She's taking that ball and turning it off to her left to the right side, right back of Nebraska. She's had two shots in that same location for a kill. The block right <laughs> at the net by Winningstall. 
11 for the 15 here. A nice little stretch. And another tip. Was it down? No. Great pancake up. Mm -hmm. I believe that was my foot. And that time, <laughs> Harper Murray says no tipping. Yep. Versifying, you know, with her shots. A lot of mix mixing up, keeping defense off balance. Showing a lot of shots. Murray off the top of the block, but not down. And Urquhart from that left pin gets another kill. She's up to 10, double digits. Finishes it. We're diving up there by the Hawkeyes, Urquhart with the tip. Murray's the tip back over that little roll shot. <laughs> He's popping that ball out to Murray. Players just stepping in and taking the ball they get and doing something positive with it. Upset from the knees, yeah. And there is another ace for Nebraska. That is now seven. Your body behind that, your platform behind, and keep it in. Tried to go line, no touch point, Nebraska. I like the thinking there of Eric Hart. Um, Rodriguez this year is averaging 13 digs per match on the season. Now that only four of Nebraska's 14 matches have gone more than three sets, so take that into consideration, right? right? But at, at this rate is Nebraska's play. So she is, that's how close it is for her overtaking the number one spot all time in digs at Nebraska. She's gonna we could pick it up a little bit, maybe need some five setters to help her out. Yeah, and then also some long matches. <laughs> right, and then also go deep into the tournament. But she's certainly right there. She gets another dig there for the Huskers. Tip there by in high company when you're talking, you know, Justine Wong, Amrantis, Caleb Anworth. Mm. Um, and that's a name a lot of people will not forget for a long time either is um, Lexi Rodriguez. Tried to go short quarter, almost worked. It was open. I don't think Bisa would have got there. Blockers in, that means those up, upper little um, short spots along the tape or along the pins are wide open and the defense is deep. So good vision. A freshman, like we said, she's, she's going to be a good one. Is a good one already. Good kill, number 11 by Michelle Urquhart. That ends Nebraska. Krause off the block and another kill. Lindsay Krause off the bench has done well. She is now five kills. Maisie Boziger, who's into the game now for Nebraska. Bozinger serve specialist. From Norris, Hickman, Nebraska, Norris High School. Great up back row. Krause from off the net, diving up by Gallus. Back row, Beeson. Gallus is there again. Sends it back over. Good job by Alec to keep that alive. If you're not up for the block, then you got to do a defensive play, and that's what you did. And Winningstall shut down by Lindsey Krause and Nebraska. Back row, big block for Rebecca Alec, and Nebraska closes it down with the defense, and they sweep the Iowa Hawkeyes. The last eight matches between these two have been Husker sweeps, and Nebraska is now 39-0 all-time against Iowa. And, he, and being really the leaders of the offense today here, and really making it a...
không ngậm được cái đấy 